Hey guys, welcome to daily DSA practice and the question which we are doing is move zeros. So let's see the question. So move all zeros to end and maintain the relative order of non zeros element. The relative order means ki whatever the numbers in whichever order they are appearing non zeros like here in this input if you see that 1 4 12. So when we move all the zeros to the end 1 4 12 order should be maintained right relative order should be maintained okay so that's a question and many people uh, like stuck at the follow-up questions which interviewer asked so we will go through step by step and see how we can uh, go to that level okay so now let's see uh, very uh, input is 010412 and what the output expected output is 1412 the order should be maintained 1412 of the non zeros and all the zeros should be at, at the end okay so now as you know the drill the first step is coming up with the brute force approach so here the brute force approach which i can easily think of as which is of big o of n square time complexity so i am starting from the first let's say here it is 0 and my another pointer was at uh, 1 so I will see that ok 1 is 0 and it is another non 0 I will swap it up so at the first step it will become swap it become 1 and this will become 0 so my pointer is still at the 0 1 and rest is same now at second point I, I am comparing this with the 1 forward 1 ok it is still 0 so I'll move this one. So now it zero and non-zero comparison comes. So I'll swap it up. So it will become four. This will become this one becomes zero. So now I am at here. Twelve. Now I am moving. It's comparing with the front one. Okay, zero and twelve. It's a non-zero. So I'll switch it up. Twelve, zero. Okay. Now again I will start to. So I'll start it from here. So now my second loop will start from four. So 4 is uh, non-zero, so I'll skip it up. I'll start from here. Okay, now the same process will start for this. 0 and compare it with the front one. Uh, so 0 and 12, it will change. 12, 0, 0. Right? So this is how I have done the brute force approach, which time complexity is big O of n square. So this is the code, right? But definitely we don't have to code for brute force. This is just for the explanation that always start from the basic that yes, O of n square, we are able to do it. Now the second step of this is to find an efficient approach, right? So here if you see that it can easily be done through a two pointer approach, right? So here the let's take the question again, 0, 1, 0, 4, 12, right? And now here if you see that what we are only interested is we need one pointer which should be at uh, 0 right and uh, let's say I am taking i should be at non 0 right it should be at non 0 and j should be at 0. So I, I want only two pointer which is one should be at non 0 another should be at 0 and ju we just need to switch it up right. So let's say both starting from the start i and j both starting from the 0th index. So as I told you that i is non-zero. So if i is, if this index is 0, I will increment the i. It become i. So now, is this still a 0? No. Now I got a 2 pointer which has one zero and non, another is non-zero. So I will do swap. So when I will do swap, it will become 1, it will become 0. Right? So this is still my j this is still my i after swapping and I will do i plus plus j plus plus so they will increment one by one so after swapping i will become this j will become here okay so now the same thing is i is equals to equals to zero yes then i but i, I want it to be non-zero so i incremented the i so now here i is non-zero right then j definitely i will switch it up so it will become one 4, 0, 0, 12 and increment the j and i. So j will be here, i will be here, right? And similarly at last, i is non-zero, j is zero, it will become 1, 4, 12, 0, 0, right? Simple. 
सो दैट्स वॉट द टू पॉइंटर कॉन्सेप्ट इज कीप वन पॉइंटर एट नॉन जीरो कीप अनदर पॉइंटर एट जीरो राइट सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द वे विच इन द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वी कैन रिड्यूज इट राइट सो हेयर वी गॉट दिस पॉइंटर क्वेश्चन राइट सो हेयर देर इज अनदर चैलेंज विच इज इज सो हेयर वी हैव एन अननेसेसरी स्वैप लेट से हेयर वी हैव वन टू थ्री फोर नो जीरो लेट से देर इज नो जीरो आई जे राइट देन वॉट वी वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर डूइंग अ स्वैपिंग अगेन ऑल्सो स्वैपिंग आई जे सो इट्स वी आर स्वैपिंग हेयर वन ओनली वन देन आई जे विल बिकम हेयर देन टू 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 so there unnecessary swapping happens right so that's where the follow up question comes in hey could you please minimize the total number of operations done right so you have to understand the bottleneck like ek okay, what is the use case for which unnecessary swapping happens right so here if you see that if there are no non zero 1 2 3 4 right for this logic i and j you would again be swapping them but so nothing change one is still would, would be at one and then i j will get incremented so that's why the follow up question comes in so this can easily be solved using simple two approaches two times for loop so the question was 1 0 right uh, 1 0 0 4 12 12 so in the first time loop first time loop i will pick non zeros and put it in the front let's say my i is here so i am taking at all the loop my i is currently at index 0 right now first i am getting 1 1 is non zero right then i will put at index 0 so index 0 will become the same array generally the same array i am just modifying the same array so i equals to 0 so my i is there so i of 0 become 1 right so my next number it will pick the next number so i am iterating over the nums so next number will come 0 right and i will get uh, incremented from here like okay i is here now so now here uh, the next number is 0 so i don't want to keep the 0 i had so i'll just uh, continue right i don't do any operation so i'll go to the next number i is still at this point it is still zero i don't do anything i'll go to this point so now i got 4 4 is non zero i will put at my index i 4 and i'll increment the i right my next number will come is 12 12 is non zero i'll put at my index i so it is become 12 right so here it is 4 it is 12 and i plus plus now in the second loop i'll iterate from i till the end i'll put just 0 0 because this many zeros i have to put right so here if you see we are doing a very less swapping plus total number of operation is also very less and this is the most fastest approach okay so if you have any other approach for this then please comment me like what is the different approach you have but always remember that this is the follow up which is very very important because above this approach two pointer approach is very easy but the follow up is something which is very important okay guys see you tomorrow and let's keep practicing dsa daily okay guys bye